guys, welcome back to the channel. If you like the content, hit the subscribe button, leave a like down below. We're going to talk about everything we know about universe mode and elaborate on some of what these features could mean because they don't really go into deep detail, but based off of the history of the franchise, let's try to figure some of this stuff out. All right, so let's just read what it says here on this website for the details. It says, the ultimate WWE Universe sandbox that puts players in charge of superstar rosters, feuds, champions, weekly shows, and premium live events now features expanded rivalry options, including run-ins, money in the bank cash-ins, scenarios and brawls, as well as new cutscenes, special guest referee support, that's going to be fun, double title matches, and a loser leaves town stipulation. I love that idea. All right, so now let's go through each one of these. All right, so expanded rivalry actions. Now, in 2K23, the, the thing was a little confusing to me. It took me a minute to figure it out, but it, I don't know. It just, the rivalry actions just didn't feel like it was flushed out. It just felt like, like here, here's this new feature. Let us know what you think. You know, kind of like a beta. And I feel like it was just a test. And it kind of, I feel like everything they add to this mode breaks the mode even further. So hopefully the stuff they add this this year doesn't break it even further. So we'll see. And then it says run-ins. That'll be fun. So you could be watching a match and, you know, let's say you're doing a show. It has five matches on your show and you just want to watch this one match. You don't feel like playing it. Well, if you decide you want to get involved or involve yourself, you could just run in and do a run and have fun and start beating them up mess up the match or get them DQ'd or whatever that sounds fun to me so it gives you more options to to really control your universe and I think that's cool and then it says money in the bank cash-ins now this is already in the game but the way it works is let's say you make a main event that's a title match and you have a character that has the money in the bank briefcase if you decide to cash it in like at the beginning of the show it'll say cash in it just adds an extra match to the card and makes it the main event. So even if you already have a title match, it's just going to make a separate match. Hopefully this means that you can literally, when the match is ongoing or is about to finish or is finished, you can hit the button and kind of like a run in, you just run down to the ring and you cash in your money in the bank, right? And then the person has damage retention, I'm assuming, and you just wallop them and win the belt. If that's the case, that's going to be super fun because it's already in the game, but like I said, it makes it a separate match. So hopefully it works like it was intended where the middle of a match or the match ends and you press that button, boom, you're down there with your money in the bank briefcase, you have a, a leg up on them and you win or lose, depending if you're terrible at the game. <laughs> so that's cool if they got that to work finally. Then next it says scenarios and brawls. So scenarios and brawls. And what confuses me, because right after it says as well as new cutscenes. So scenarios and brawls. Now what could that mean? Does that mean you'll be like in between shows or in between matches? There'll be segments where you're, you're in the back getting interviewed and all of a sudden you get jumped, right? Maybe you'll add that cool story elements like the old wrestling games used to have where you could walk around and stuff like that that would be fun like scenarios and brawls hmm maybe you just brawl outside in the ring because they did have um, promos that you could do and you go back and forth and then sometimes it would end in a brawl or whatever but you, as far as I remember you didn't really have control over the actual brawl part it was just whoever won the promo and go to the next cutscene or whatever and those were weird it's like the <laughs> what you could say and stuff. So I'm very curious what scenarios and brawls entails because that sounds really fun to me. And then again, the next thing says new cutscenes. So does that mean we're going to get a lot like pr promos back? Like, let's say you're injured. Are we going to get an injured cutscene? It sounds like a little bit of create a story feature here. Kind, kind of, you know. I'm very curious what all this entails because it can mean so many different things. I don't want to overhype myself because, like I said, Universe Mode is the mode I play the most every year, even if it is broken. Uh, this could be huge if it all works out. So let's hope it works. 
And then the next thing it says special guest referee support. That'll be super fun when you're doing rivalries. You could be a, like a special guest referee in your rivals match and screw them over. I just think that'd be a lot more fun. I really wish Universe Mode was on had online ugh, online co-op so that communities like the WGC community, off the top podcast, all of us, we could have our own promotion. That'd be fun. Dude. We we could have off the top podcast versus another YouTube channel, right? We're two different brands and we could just do stuff like that. That'd be so fun. And then team up for a pay-per-view and do like a joint team up thing. I think stuff like that would be super fun. And then it says uh, double title matches. I wonder how that would work because what if they're on two different brands, right? And they do title for title. Does that add the title automatically to that brand or does it have to be on the same brand? Like, can you go for, let's say, the, the WWE World Heavyweight T Championship and let's say the Intercontinental Championship because they're on the same show, right? I know in the real show it's US and WWE, but is that how it works? Or can you win the main championship from another promotion and you just appear on both shows? So I'm curious how that's gonna work because that sounds like it's gonna screw up the game's logic and programming and make universe mode even more buggy. <laughs> so we'll see how that works. And then this last thing, loser leaves town stipulation. I love that because let's say you're doing a show on YouTube or Twitch or whatever and you want to have like a little storyline where the person gets hurt or gets written out of the program for a while so that the crowd can miss him and then have that shocking return. Loser leave town stipulation is, is awesome. I love that idea. Hmm. So anyway, these are all the new features confirmed so far for Universe Mode. Which feature are you most excited about? And what do you think they're talking about when it comes to scenarios and brawls? Sound off in the comments below. Thank you for watching. And stay frosty.